All right, guys, so that is a clip from the new Netflix show, Physical 100, which is a Korean show that pits some top athletes in Korea against each other when it comes to physical challenges. Now, as you saw there, uh, that was a wrestling match uh, between a female bodybuilder and a man, and the female bodybuilder got destroyed. And, of course, the uh, wokes and the feminists cry foul over this because a man destroy a woman which you know kind of proves what we've been saying the whole time about how men and women are different and some people can't seem to handle that side eye side eye you know physical 100 makes me feel so many types of emotions but like the one thing that i'm so angry about is how all the men just freaking look down and belittle the women they're just like i don't really want to pick that team because he has the most number of women Mm, women are weaker. We'll be put at a disadvantage. Oh, like, shut up. And, like, oh, I, I already know. Like, people are gonna be like, oh, but biologically speaking, women are weaker than men. I don't know, it just makes me so frustrated. Well, especially the episode where there was only one female team leader and nobody chose her. Because they also thought that, like, women don't have good leadership skills. This is the problem with society. She's doing a good job, and I think she hurt his ego in the beginning because she was literally manhandling this man. And he keeps, oh, every time, oh, fuck you. He's just the biggest piece of shit. And they're all like, oh, he's so scary, he's merciless. Like, no, he's not, he's just a piece of shit playing dirty. And I'm not saying that the woman won't eventually have to go against the men, but... Like, see, look, this guy had to, like, get him off. Like, hey, you're doing too much. Literal piece of shit. Hope that he loses in the future. Um, she did amazing. Good job for her for being a good sport and not doing dirty shit like he does. Because you can tell in his face he's just a piece of shit. He's a walking red flag. He bragged about being an MMA fighter and literally bragging like he's going against the biggest, most strong man in the world. Like, I don't... Like, whoever goes against him as an MA fighter in the future, and I hope they whoop their ass and be like, huh, how did it feel to have to go against a woman just to progress in competition? The show on Netflix, Physical 100, is facing backlash, and feminists are asking for it to be canceled after a female bodybuilder lost a wrestling match to an MMA fighter that she challenged. He had to pick a woman because he knew he didn't stand a chance between none of the men. And I'm not saying she's not holding her own. She's doing a good job. And I think she hurt his ego in the beginning. Because This is a physical competition that she challenged him to. She challenged him to a wrestling match and lost. That's literally the whole reason of the show. It's a physical competition between everybody, bro. Man or woman. There's no way you can say you're a feminist and see a problem with this situation, bro. You can't pick and choose when equality matters and it doesn't. Because if she was winning, y'all would have said it was equal. Now that he's winning, y'all saying he, it's because she's a woman. That doesn't make sense. TikTok, this was a wrestling match, not a real fight. Yeah, you seen that, you heard that, okay? Um, and the reason why I <laughs> wanted to include this segment here about the female bodybuilder getting beat by the man in this show is because it's somewhat related to the story that I, I really want to talk about here, which is out of Kansas, okay? As critics are calling a women's rights bill sexist and transphobic, okay? Um, in, in doing this legislation session, this legislative session, um, you, you had a uh, woman testify that claimed that she was offended by the idea that men 
and women are different or that men are stronger than, or taller than women. Speak today. My name is Taryn Jones and I am the lobbyist for Equality Kansas and a lifelong Kansan. Um, I am here to testify in opposition of SB 180. SB 180 talks about how there's differences in biological sexes between men and women and how men are stronger and taller. I find that incredibly offensive. I find that like, sorry, um, in bills like, in this bill and bills like it, there's this idea of a level playing field. But the truth is there can never be a level playing field. There can never be an equal playing field. My cousin is six feet tall. She's a cisgender female. Should she not be allowed to play on a women's basketball team because she has an advantage? I also wanted to mention someone earlier talked about Leah Thomas and swimming. Leah Thomas, her freshman year before she was on HRT, was sixth in men's swimming. Once she started HRT, she was 400th in men's swimming. When she got to have enough HRT and was able to play on the women's team, she obviously won. But I just wanted to make a point that that is misleading. Um, I want to also talk about how SB 180 creates um, an erasure for intersex individuals. Um, Planned Parenthood defines intersex as a general term used for a variety of situations in which a person born with reproductive or sexual anatomy that doesn't fit in boxes of male or female. I know it's convenient for the sponsors of this bill to act like there are only two sexes, but scientifically that is not true. According to Amnesty International experts, 2% of the po oh, roughly 2% of the population are intersex. So, it, what? I'm sorry, we're out of time. Oh, okay, no worries. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming up. <laughs> yeah. So you see that you heard that, okay? This person struggled to say that uh, she's offended by the fact that there are differences between men and women. That this legislation acknowledges that hey. Men and women are different, okay? Uh, and specifically, she said things like saying that men are stronger or taller than, than, than women. Uh, she's offended by it. She's triggered. When that's just the reality, right? Which, again, this is just another example of how people literally get offended by facts in reality. I don't understand people who get offended by facts, okay? Like, this is just a fact. Again, I, I have these fast sports facts for you guys from Gender Resource Guide that, that tells you the difference between men and women when it comes to sports and stuff. Um, and again, this is why sports has to be separated by sex. Again, I just showed you guys the video at the beginning of this video with the you know female bodybuilder and the man. Um, yeah, the man destroyed her, okay? He's going to destroy her probably, what, nine out of ten times, okay? It's assuming technique is equal, that is, because technique uh you know can you know level the playing field a little bit but generally speaking a man is going to destroy the woman okay even if the woman does have superior uh technique so let's read here the st strongest 10 percent of females can only beat the bottom 10 percent of men in hand grip test hand grip is one of the most li widely used markers for strength men are faster than women in running swimming rowing kayaking and short distance and long distance women's speed uh world records are all about 90 percent of the men's speed world records each year hundreds of men easily beat the world's best time in the women's marathon men have broader shoulders and larger feet and hands all of which uh grant an advantage in sports like volleyball swimming and basketball on average men are physically stronger than women men have 66 percent more upper body muscle than women and 50 percent more lower body uh muscle men have larger hearts and lungs a larger heart heart can pump more blood to the body and larger lungs also allow for the body's tissue tissues to receive more oxygen men have bigger and stronger bones <laughs> a larger skeletal structure means men's bodies can hold more muscle and larger bones facilitate leverage there is a 10 percent performance gap between male and female athletes in most sports and it has it narrow as women train harder. Uh, men marathon runners have lower body fat percentages than female uh, marathon runners. Well, that's not really saying much because uh, women on average hold more fat than, than men. That's just the way they're structured. But again, that's the difference. Men have a greater amount of fast twitch muscle fibers. 
which give men more explosive power. Men have higher hemoglobin levels, allowing their body to uh, oxygenate muscles more quickly and efficiently. Uh, men are taller, giving them an advantage in sports like uh, basketball or volleyball. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, across the board, uh, men and women are different, okay? But again, that doesn't stop uh, some of these people from melting down and crying, okay? Crying sexism and transphobia because there's legislation that is designed to protect women's rights. So let's read a little bit about what's going on with this bill here. Lawmakers unrolled a new bill that would bar transgender women from female-only spaces under the assumption that biological women tend to be naturally weaker and more vulnerable to violence than men. Senate Bill 180 was given about 30 minutes of discussion at Wednesday's Senate Public Health and Welfare uh, Committee hearing, a time frame that critics have said is woefully inadequate to address all the bill's implications. The bill has been called a Women's Bill of Rights, a bit designation that bill opponent Caroline Dean rejected. Dean, a pastor with the Kansas uh, Oklahoma Conference of the United Church of Christ and spokeswoman for the Kansas Interfaith Action, said the bill didn't actually recognize any rights for women. Quote, the irony of this Women's Bill of Rights is that it doesn't enumerate any actual rights, instead focusing on weaponizing the rhetoric of rights to erase protections for transgender and non-binary people, Dean said. Quote, but I can name some rights that women need, the right to pay equity, the right to be free of gender violence and sexual discrimination, the right to have affordable child care and to access uh, health care when I or my children are in need. Well, none of those things are rights. OK, uh, and the reason why it doesn't enumerate any actual uh, rights is because women already have all their rights. What they're doing is really protecting women from losing their rights. OK, losing their right uh, to be in women's only spaces without Men, right? That's actually what it's really doing, okay? Um, but again, don't tell the wokes that. Uh, SB 180 would define female as people with biological reproductive systems that are developed to produce over and definition critics have said excludes intersex women and alienates women without ovaries. The bill states that separate uh, accommodations based on biological sex aren't unequal and that biological women uh, sometimes need women only social educational athletic and other spaces to ensure safety this would include domestic violence shelters uh restrooms and locker rooms one part of the bill says that male individuals are on average uh bigger stronger and faster than female individuals and as justification for biology based separation similar uh, legislation has been introduced in north dakota oklahoma and arizona among other states yeah so um this is what the woke activists do. They cry, they melt down, trying to protect women's rights. At this point, I think they're really against women, right? I think they're trying to roll back women's rights. Um, and every argument that they use to do so is not grounded in any type of real reality, right? Or biology or science or anything like that. Uh, but again, the reality is that men and women are different. And that's why men and women should generally be separated for the most part, especially when you're talking about private spaces like that. But hey, the wokes don't seem to agree, right? The wokes... For whatever reason, think that, you know, what is, you know, equal rights for women, okay, is uh, a man's right to intrude on their space and, you know, have their penis out in a locker room full of women. Again, amazing stuff. A lot of these people are living in cuckoo for Cocoa Pop world. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.